Hello and uh, welcome to another quick tutorial. Today we'll talk about Houdini FX 18.5 with the V-Ray installed for rendering. So um, after installing V-Ray, you can access the shelf menu from the top list to go all the way down to V-Ray. So you will have the shelf here also. There will be a menu upstairs with the render and the render setting and VVFB, light lister and the remaining. We will just create quick and dirty test render. This is our model. Make a back drop. Let's do JO. Immediately down here, I'll create a backdrop just to visualize everything so I can be sure. Yeah, let's move it in the back, something like that. Could get dirty, I'll reverse the normal. Yes, I'll just create the camera by control and click. So this is our camera now. First thing first, uh, we need a light. Lights are listed at the top. We have direct light. We have light IES. We have the IES file, rectangle, light spot, light sun, and uh, light dome. We we'll go first with the light rectangle. We just located it here and by pressing control and light together it updated yes. see it become dark i'll increase the light this is the light very light it's enabled disabled invisible if you want to be make it invisible and i will increase the intensity so i'll just put a 30. now we have it here and the direction of it. I'll, I'll fire up the uh, frame buffer interactive. So I started it. Okay, I'll just make it closer. Smaller, smaller, smaller. Yes. I'll hide this for now. Make it a little bit smaller option. Yes. So if, if I move my camera, it will update. Yes. I'll increase the intensity of, of the light. The camera, I will make it a V ray camera, so physical camera. It will have a tab here that we can play with the setting. So let's say ISO make it 200. Go bigger 2.8. Like 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 a real lens. When mm, hitting depth of field, it's enabled depth of field. And the okay. Light, I will go even higher. Let's make it 60. Temperature. Then the hot side. Okay. Let me uh, fix the light very light. I'll 
create another light quickly. Discard, control G. Because I'm recording, so it's giving me a trouble. Like this, and rectangle. What did I do now? Then go up with the light. Intensity. Material. To create material, we go to the material, right click, and we have down in the list, the P ray, we have all these kind of materials, some of it already built in and ready to be used. Explore some. We have uh, the carbon, for instance. I just drag it and drop it. So immediately it populate. I'll put another material. P ray material, let's say. Mm, material builder and the nice thing about material builder immediately it will create the network for you I'll just drop it to the background and here you have all type of presets let me create another light a doom light enter Why it is giving me a light shape? Okay. Sometimes it needs to be refreshed. Okay. That's for the view. can also have a very plan very good I'll just render this one out now the V-ray light dome the nice thing about it you can attach an HDRI to it let me search for one This one makes it. And you will see it in the viewport updating also. Just give it a second. Now it's updating. Here, let me change the material to something that's not shiny. A long list of material. Um, when, when I created the render, it, it is here. You can use CPU or CUDA or the RTX. Let's stop this one here. And CUDA, you can change uh, check which device you have and you can select like the NVIDIA or if you have the ZTX. GTX. Apply. So it's a good Another thing here you can see in the renderer you have progressive or pocket as usual, global illumination, light cache, brute force. Brute force is slow but more accurate. Let's give it a shot and see. Okay. Let's, let's uh, cancel. It's freezing on me. One second. Now it's back. Let's try to create another light. 
or before another light I want to put something metallic for the sphere here let's go to the V-ray material material builder you can take it from the scratch I'll put it here let's dive in fire up the IVR and now it is freezing maybe I need to fix the, the code and just make it CPU for now so the GPU cannot uh, freeze that's it Apply again, preparing now it's loading. Bit not, it's taking too much time. Yeah, now it's working. Okay, anyway, let's go to the material. Here, if I want to create a glass, glass material, let's go here. So, the diffuse, I'll just make it flat, and in the reflection, just increase it to what? So, it's more reflective now. Yes. What else can we do? Closeness. How much reflective is the surface? See here. See it's more sharp. Here. It's a little bit diffused. It's closeness or roughness in some in the previous software like in 3ds Max. If I make this one white, twenty percent opacity. So it's straightforward. Metal. It's, so it's more like metal. Here I want to decrease a little bit the intensity of this light. Create another light from this side. Okay, back to the camera. And this new light, I make it a little bit stronger. 30 and the color temperature. The gold side. Now here in the material editor, refraction. See what we have in the preset here. So this is a glass. Color, if I make it black. And this is a refraction. I'll increase it so it's more transparent and the diffuse black as we did. It's reflecting. If we zoom more, I give also material to the surface. Or I give it this material better. Also. Refraction, transparency. This 
see another kind plastic and give it this color so this is just a quick uh, introduction 101 quickly for the V-ray and this is the light and in the light rotate see it in the viewport you can see it through the camera drag it down and rotate Very good. This is the sun. Next time we'll talk about uh, V-Ray for the biosolver and how we can apply the shader and about the channels and the bases that the V-Ray have as an output because we need to create the render element and the render element we need to create also the remaining uh, asset from all type of uh, bases so thank you for uh, watching please subscribe to see more videos this is just a warming up thank you very much bye